Van Bricks by William Beaumont. Each neat to blow his bugle were Van Briggs' only thought until his life can juggle were almost good for nought. A chap so dedicated, so full of decent worth could have originated but from one spot on earth. All dwellers there proclaim it and echoing them now it rests for me to name it as Bonnie Berry Brow, that spot on steep and stone side to south of Huddersfield, where many a trombone slide was swung until it's wheeled. Who where youngsters of ambition could think of nights so grand as filling a position in famous village band, whose military butchers rest that folk with fallen arches were stamping them with best. Now of its thirty players, all made at sterling stuff, Ben Briggs was Vesta Stairs, a proper prince of puff. His jacket oft expanded by what went off inside till silver buttons landed all over far and wide. And Barry Brow as truthful as any folk are undutiful, tell me they find them yet. Ben's tuneful triple tonguing, renowned for many a mile, set other bandsmen longing to emulate his style. And one or two were jealous as could be of barrel chest and massive pair of bellises with which Ben Briggs was blessed. One night, a young trombone come her in I vow, for no chap so dishonest was born and bred at brow, while Ben all unsuspecting his bugle set aside and for a while inspected brass band, cassette and guide. He shoved a lump of beeswax inside Ben's instrument. Oh how such thoughts as these tax the chap's poetic bent, but I'm and or a reader cut up rough. Sang them shorn above. Returning to his rostrum once more to hop and bounce, Cape Bant Maester, Tom Foster, who be name I mun announce. And as he raised his baton nil, nobody dared to chat on one look for that Tom could kill. Then thinking to select delight them with solo bit from Ben, provided in next item, he nodded to his Ben. With one accord, they struck up, excepting for Ben Briggs, whose instrument was stuck up as everybody twigs. But Ben were made of sternest and stoutest Yorkshire grit, and blowing in real earnest he loosened wax a bit, determined to be ready to play his solo spot, he blew on strong and steady till beeswax grew and blowing fit to bust his success with sound was crowned and we poetic justice that lacks its target found. By this device directed to that particular place all molten wax connected with a young trombonist's face. Said Ben, thou stuck with wax lad, as every man taking stock of facts lad, I think I'll stick to bees. In shape of seven letters, I'll add him to be named, because Big Ben's part better at bugle blowing game. Upon his famous instrument, 
engraver carved for him in fashion centrifugal those letters neat and trim and folk with gumption frugal who failed to understand were asked who blows best bugle in very brow brass band